Did you record that? Yeah. I will know, but we are now. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the GigaHub Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us but may not matter to you. I'm host one of three, Luis. I'm host two of three, Daikaiji Tony. And I am the third guy, Adam. Yes, he's our third Adam. He's the third man. The infamous third the man. The third man from that classic great film. The third man. The third man. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> it is a great film, man. What? Uh, the we, third man, you never saw it? Oh, it's so good. We are going to be talking about scary kids things. Ooh. But before we get into yeah, that, yeah. let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave Desert, uh, yeah. where we have anything and everything that your nerdy heart could ever desire, including comics. Yes. Uh, back issues of yes. comics for collectors. G Pops, Fuel. Action figures. G Statues. All the G Fuel you could ever drink. All the G Fuel you could yeah. ever drink. Until your heart enough explodes. G <laughs> enough G Fuel to literally kill yeah. you. <laughs> Apparel <laughs> and all sorts of other but odds and ends. Don't do, it. don't do that here, though. Yeah, don't, yeah, do, don't, that don't here. do it here. Yeah. Don't drink, drink all yeah. you want at home. Yeah. We don't need the paperwork. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah. come on down and talk to our knowledgeable <laughs> staff, such as... Daikaiju Tony. Such as the wonderful Daikaiju Tony. <laughs> and uh, they'll be able to point you in, in, in the right direction. That's, oh, and also we ship right. we ship uh, statewide. Correct. Or statewide. <laughs> nationwide. Nation nationwide. Excuse nationwide. Excuse me. Nationwide, nationwide. nationwide at uh, CosmicComics.Vegas, where right. you can browse our wares and right. buy things from the comfort of your home. Correct. You don't have to come talk to anybody, including Daikaiju Tony. <laughs> So come on down. Even though likely he'll package your stuff up. Yeah. Yes. He and will I'm call you and ask and ask you questions, maybe. <laughs> yes. We'll see. Right. All right. Yes. Cool. So we are talking about, uh, specifically we're talking about stuff. Things that were meant for kids yes. but scared us as kids and weren't necessarily meant to, like, elicit that kind of frightening I'm pretty feeling, convinced some of them were. Some of them were, Which, yeah. which yes. I'm fine with. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with looking back on like, it now. Stuff that's not horror, but usually has like a brief moment of a horror element or something. Or like that. something, yeah. Or, or like maybe, or maybe it's kid. children's horror that yeah, went a I, little I, too horrifying. Right, yeah. I got yeah. some listed in my phone. Nice. Oh, oh man. Okay, so wait, who wants to start? Who wants to start? <laughs> Am I starting again? I, I'll start. I'll start okay. because right. one of the ones I have is straight up the entire Mac and Me movie. <laughs> 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 Uh, this, wait, wait, I have a clip now. Yeah, this oh, garbage. Uh, I'm uh, showing a clip for it. This garbage shoot came out in like what 88? It had to have been like 89 or 90. yeah, somewhere around there. I was probably a young man of about five or six at the time, and my parents. I was overseas, so I missed the Mac and Me craze. <laughs> because uh, because I was a fan of ET as a kid, really just the Alien, not so much Ew. the movie. No, just the Alien. I nah. thought the Alien was cool. Uh, they thought that the, oh the well this is this is about the same let's let's get him let's Mac rent and Mac me. and Me so we rented mm-hmm. Mac and Me <laughs> the like I even looked at the box and it looked I was like okay he's kind of goofy looking and then you watch the movie and they are so weird <laughs> and so creepy looking that mostly I mostly because they just don't the expression does not change yeah I was convinced as a kid that they that it was a horror movie. <laughs> Like the whole scene where the kids just <laughs> rushing down a hill on the in the in the the, the wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. I thought the alien did That's that. That's a crazy. I thought scene. the alien was gonna kill that kid. I'm like, that is it. Kill that kid. <laughs> yeah, it's insane. It's insane. The whole movie. First off, it's a terrible movie. Yes, it has a McDonald's commercial in it and a Coca Cola commercial. Yeah, it's wow. it's definitely have has a uh, a cult following for sure. Now. Yeah. <laughs> But as yeah, a it's kid, entertaining, but not for the right. Yeah, I, I think I watched, <laughs> I rewatched it. It's a riff track slash. Yeah, yeah definitely it's definitely a watch movies. with like, people. Ronald McDonald himself and of course, is in the movie. Probably yeah. most famous for being Paul Rudd's go to clip for everything that's something yes. he's supposed to be Specifically in. the yeah. wheelchair scene. Right. Yeah. 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 Every oh. time he's got a clip for his new movie, he's like, yeah, let's roll a clip. And it's always the same the wheelchair scene. The wheelchair, yeah. Which I heard he did on a podcast, <laughs> on Conan's podcast. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that. that that movie right there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the suits just look terrible. Right? right? Am I? I'm not. No, they're yeah, they're bad. awful, yeah. especially yeah. for that time frame. The effects had been getting progressively better throughout the '80s, and those are just yeah, bad. At least ET could like talk. Yeah. These things always look like. <laughs> they always look like that. Yeah, they're like weird. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll slap a slide. Oh, oh no! You're gonna traumatize the viewers. Oh my god. <laughs> 
All right, who's next? All right, I'll go next. I have yeah. a list folder. I'll go. I'll mention it a and then I'll, oh, and I'll wow. like I'll go to you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I, I I talked about it in a previous episode, but all oh, three all three Sam Raimi Spider Man movies. Because here's the thing. As I grew, okay. Did you just need another reason to talk about the Sam Raimi Spider Man? <laughs> well, I, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Okay, I'll, I'll, you keep bringing I, it back. To, no, go ahead. Okay, well, I, I gushed over them before, but okay, I'll go over the scenes that scared me from each movie in my first viewing. That probably were they meant to be scary though? Yes and no. Okay. Okay. Um. Well, okay. Well, well two of them jump scares. Green Goblin jump scare. Freaking pretends to be an old lady. Scares Spider Man. Punches him. Well, that freaked yeah. me out. Okay. Second scene. Uh, Norman hugging Harry when Harry tells uh, Norman that Peter loves MJ. Frig out of nowhere, jump scared in front of the camera. Uh, okay, these movies were rated PG-13. <laughs> PG to PG-13. I mean, freaked you out. And <laughs> Spider-Man 2, Doctor Bo- Octopus, waking up for the first time, just killing everyone in the hospital. Oh, I'm like, yeah. that, that generally freaks me out. That was pretty brutal. <laughs> was I, pretty well, then I'm glad they didn't go with the original Green Goblin mask, the one that they did yeah, screen test for, because you would have peed your pants. I, I probably think. would. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, but, yeah. uh, but like Spider-Man 2, Doctor Oct- Octopus, killing everyone. As a four-year-old, that freaked me the hell out. <laughs> and Spider-Man 3. Okay, even though I didn't the like... The whole Ven- movie. No, no. Even though oh. I didn't like Venom's design, Venom shriek in that movie. That just made, that, that's just uh-huh. unsettling. How old were you when that third one came out? Seven. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. yeah, yeah. That okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And well, I, I'm gonna briefly mention these, um, <laughs> since they're superhero themed. Batman Arkham Asylum, back, Batman Arkham City. It, well, that was a dark game. Well, yeah, but first one, yeah, it's kind of meant to be scary. Basically, you fight Scarecrow, unzip the body bags, yeah. see Thomas and Martha Wayne come to life. Yeah, and, that's supposed to be scary though. Okay, but Arkham City. Okay. It, okay, it's a jump scare, but Batman explores the museum. Okay, I'm just gonna go run in front. Oh, you get to see an animatronic T Rex just pop out and uh, jump scare. Okay. I'm like, I legitimately drop my controller. I'm like, whoa, 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 <laughs> what was that? Kind and like the first time in the old Tomb Raider when the T Rex comes around the corner, that was pretty freaky. <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing: Arkham City is not even a horror game. It's, yeah. a, it's like, so I didn't really expect anything frightful to be in that section of the game. And then second scene in Arkham City, basically. Um, I think it's after you finish the story. Basically, okay, so in Arkham City, you could decrypt stuff. You, Are you doing your whole list? Uh, oh, no, not my whole oh. list. I'm just <laughs> briefly mentioning oh, the Batman okay, parts okay. because it's superhero themed. But so, so, so far, what I'm mentioning right now is the only superhero related okay. stuff that scared okay. me. Um, you get to decrypt a location that has Scarecrow's mask in a boat, and you see a guy in a chair who's all tied up, and he looks like he's dead. And then you, you get close to him, he's like, <gasps> I'm like, okay, that's like that. watching seven. Yeah, the guy yeah, in the bed. Yeah, it's like <laughs> seven. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, those like nice, uh, again nice. made me drop your control. I'm like, okay, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess I, it's hard for me to connect because I was older when yeah, the Spider-Man yeah. movies came yeah. out and when the Arkham movies came out. So. Yeah. All right. I'm sure there are things that scared me as a kid that kids yeah. nowadays are like, oh, that so scared there, you. There was a show when I was a little kid, and it was meant for little kids. And it was called H.R. Puff and Stuff. Oh, H.R. Puff and Stuff. <laughs> right, the magic yeah. flute. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the villain of the piece uh-huh. was called Witchy Poo. And it is just a woman dressed like a witch with really bad makeup on her face. Mm-hmm. But when they had a H.R. Puff and Stuff. You have to slap a. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, when, they, when they made an H.R. Puff and Stuff movie and she was on the big screen, <clears> it freaked me out. Wow. I lost my proverbial... Wait, what, what was it called? The version from the movie? Four-year-old crap. Yeah, I was just like, wah! She is creepy. Wait, wait, like, what is it called? H.R. Puff and Stuff. H.R. But yeah, Puff Witchy Poo freaked me out. And then ever since ever since I saw Witchy the movie Poo. on the big okay, screen, because okay. uh-huh. there she was on the screen, you know, 30 feet tall. Right. What and the then a- after that, even watching the show, she creeped me out. She was kind of creepy looking, yeah. yeah. I could see. I could see. Yeah, I can see why. But it's weird. I look at her now, and it's just bad makeup. Yeah. Yeah. But, like, I guess my brain did something where the way the makeup looked, it looked like, it didn't look like just makeup. Where it's that weird, like, yeah. it's that weird, well, like, kind of like illusion. an uncanny valley yeah, kind of deal. Yeah, created an illusion, and that's all I saw after that. It was pretty messed up. Mm. Yeah, that was my big one. All no, right, which, which your number two? My number two. Okay, so my number two isn't the entire movie, but I loved watching... Um, I love watching um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Not Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. The, 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 the good uh, one. Yeah, the good one. The Gene <laughs> the Wilder one. version. The Gene Wilder one, yeah. Uh, um, okay. And uh, the, I loved that movie except for the part where they're on the boat, which I'm sure well, everyone remembers. Well, that was remembered. meant to be creepy and freaky. Did, was yeah. it? 
because it was still too creepy. creepy it was and too freaky. creepy. Yes, like chicken getting his head cut off. Specifically, the chicken getting the head cut off. <laughs> right. And yeah. the guy and the guy letting like the the what is the like a centipede, centipede yeah. crawl on his face. Okay. I, I thought hated that was cool. That so I, much. When, okay. Okay. No. I saw that movie when I was seven. I thought that was cool. I was freaked out. Like, I, yeah, and it's, it ma- and the, it's the, funny you say that because it didn't freak me out when I was little, but as, as when I got older, I was like, "Oh God!" Yeah, and, the, the <laughs> centipede, and the centipede on the face always made me dry. Heave. Yeah. Always made me dry heave as a kid. I yeah. hated it. I hated it so much. So every time I watched the movie, I would always fast forward past that part because I did not want to see that. Um, I mean, overall, Willy Wonka is kind of a messed up kids movie. Yeah. Yeah, but I like it. I think, and that's why I like Coraline too. I like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like kids horror when it is a little bit scary. Yes. Right. Uh, yeah, and too much now is so softballed, and it's like, no, it should be a little scary. You tell, yeah, go on a rant about mother, how the kids the these days are creepy. soft. No, yeah. yeah. They're shot. These yeah. kids nowadays are soft. Yeah. Of course, mom was hot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the, other, the other mother? No, no, uh, no. God, no. no. That's exactly who he's talking about. Like, the other Those, mother's so she hot. She had button eyes. Yeah. Okay, oh, my God. So. I love when she goes into her spider form. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, yeah. I love Lady Domi Trust when she turns into a dragon monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. She was hideous. All right. Um, so, who's turning it? Yours. It's your okay. turn. Number two. Okay. Going well, to my number, second. Number eight. No. <laughs> number eight. I'm just busting what? chops. Okay. <laughs> Well, going to the first show that probably mortified me as a kid. Um, it's a Nickelodeon show called Mr. Meaty. Mr. It's what? A pu- what? It's a puppet show. Uh, Mr. Meat. Why does that sound familiar? It's not meant to be disturbing, or uh, but the character designs, they're just so horrific looking. And some of the things that happen in the story is just like downright disturbing, but it's played off to be... Not disturbing, for example. Oh, um, the puppets are kind of weird looking, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's about two food court workers, uh, Josh and Parker. They work in a pretty filthy fast food establishment owned by a, basically a dead guy in a wheelchair. <laughs> oh, boy. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there he is. I'm looking right at him. Yep. <laughs> like, yeah, oh, like, dude, cl- these puppets. <laughs> the, what I'm assuming is the, is this the main puppet right here? Is this yeah. like the lead puppet? He's the, oh, he's, yeah. Him he and looks like a freak. <laughs> Okay. Like a free show. It's terrible. Okay. Um. Basically, there's stuff in that show that uh, it's played for laughs, but it just weird. It either weirded me out or made me go, "Why am I watching this?" Oh man. Okay. So the thing. Okay. Episode where um <laughs> Parker eats a raw, dirty burger he found in the floor. All of a sudden, he gets a tapeworm inside of him that eats everything he tries eating. Uh, so they have to get a, hun- a hunter to, like, fish it out of his mo- body. And, and all of a sudden, oh. the tapeworm goes inside of him. And yeah. okay. That's bizarre. Um, another episode. They start a, pl- a plastic surgeon c- clinic using the tools from the restaurant. And they start, like, a- attaching pieces of the food to the women's faces. What is going on? It's about to be a kid show. And Yikes. Uh, oh there's the time they found a hot sauce that I think had dead human inside of it, which, like, you opened up, the devil came out of the hot sauce. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> the, looks I the, thought you the, can't the, do that on television. <laughs> was bad yeah. crap crazy. So, like, the, the heftier character puppet <laughs> looks fine. I don't oh, mind no. him. It's, his, no, it's Parker, the other he, guy. He's it's the one who, the, eats, who eats the burger that has the tapeworm in it. Yeah, it's it's the other guy that looks really creepy. Like even now, oh god, I can't even. I can't look at him head on, or I wow. think I'm gonna start. Oh, oh my, there's like, how do they like get away with showing this type of crap in, in Nickelodeon? Oh my Jeez. gosh, yeah. Wow. All right. I don't uh, understand how that show seemed to be any good. I don't get it. I, but then again, I, I guess I'm not a kid, so. Oh my, god. my number two takes us back to '70s TV show. Land of the Lost, live action adventure TV oh, show. Oh, that's right. Not you told me the crappy, the, you told the, the sleaze stacks used to make you pee your pants. No, not the sleaze stacks. <laughs> they were creepy. But there was a character on there called the non non, and it was if you watch it now, it's like literally just some guy wearing a black uh, body stocking with like little mirrors on him, mm-hmm. <laughs> so that the light would reflect. But like then it was just creepy, and he would like move around the way he'd move around. And it was oh. just like this floating sort of reflective shape or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it was just weird. Ugh. It was just kind of weird. It always freaked me out. <laughs> it was like, you don't know. You don't understand what's happening, Will Robinson, or whatever his name was. Oh, Will Johnson, gosh. or Will and Holly, or... Jeez. Yeah. 
And it's just creepy. It was weird. Oh. It was weird. But if you looked it up now, you'd be like, "That's that's, that's stupid. Not cre- yeah, that's stupid. I'm sure it's it's like it's like Star Wars Holiday Special level of effects. Kind oh of, my god, stupid. Ugh. Yeah, video, I, cheap video effects. That kind cup of in thing. the head. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I'm sure. I'm sure. Like the way we see that now is the way our parents used to say, like, "What is this crap? <laughs> what is this stupid? Like, oh, I'm crap. scared. You're scared of this. this? What, is, yeah. what is this? But when you're a kid, you perceive yeah. things. It's all new. So when you perceive it. Your brain doesn't know how to interpret it correctly. Yeah, it's the same reason why witchy poo or why you know, it's just, it's just you don't you don't know how to adjust for it yet. So it's all creepy. All right, that's my number two. Okay. What you got next? Number three. My number three. This is a scene in a movie that partic- in this scene in particular caused me not to watch the movie, not to watch the rest of the movie really? for years. Wow. And I don't what think I've that? ever admitted this to you. But uh, but we've made jokes about it really? before, yeah. So it's the it's Pee Wee's uh, big adventure. <laughs> oh my god! It's large. It's, Marge. it's the scene with large, large Marge. Marge. Oh, and so good. Large Marge was fine. So good until she got to the end of the story, and she her face changed into like the Google the big yeah. googly <laughs> eyes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my god! I turned off I turned off the TV so Tell fast. Tell them How Large you? Marge sent you. Yeah, we had uh, we, I, I was watching we? it on TV. Oh gosh, so good. You must have been pretty young because that movie came out like nineteen. Yeah, the movie was already on TV by oh, that okay, point. Yeah. So I was. In high I had to have been in out. like eighty nine, ninety, somewhere around there. Oh, I was okay. a kid. I remember that. But oh, man. I it was enough for me to like turn off the TV immediately, <laughs> and, and then just go <laughs> like, like hang out with my mom. I forgot what she. I think she was doing laundry, and I just went and hung out with her. I just kind of sat there with her, and she was just like, "What's going on?" I'm like, "Nothing, nothing. Everything's fine." <laughs> Why and are I, your pants wet? Uh, <laughs> no reason. Wet? They're not wet. You, you, you are no. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I just like hung out with her for like a good portion of the day, and I, I for years I couldn't watch that movie. Wow. Uh, maybe until I got older, I was probably like eleven or twelve. I watched it again, and I was like, yeah, okay, um, this isn't so bad. But I, I got I had to have been six, five or six yeah. at the time, maybe even maybe even seven. Freaked you but out. But that it freaked me out enough not to watch the rest of it <laughs> for a couple of years. All right. Um, yeah, <laughs> I may have peed my pants. Okay. All right. No, what's your number three? Another kid's cartoon, The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. Oh, oh yeah, I, yeah, okay. I watched that with my daughter, yeah. I remember I remember that cartoon. It, yeah, it was it good. It was actually good. Was it? Yeah. Well, okay. yeah, it's it didn't cute. look it's like it, it didn't look great. So oh, I didn't no. There are it's some good. level there are, no, there are some episodes that are like Twilight Zone levels of freaky like when it turns out they've been they've, they're stuck in this sandbox with a giant baby and uh <laughs> yeah. and one of those yeah. uh Make a wish coin machine people things and yeah. um but there are also like some pretty either downright so scary it's also kind of gross to like it just comes out of nowhere levels of scary like for right. example flat flapjack he's like painting the cute cat and all of a sudden you see a close up of his face it's its eyes are like this big and it's, it has black eyes and his teeth are all sharp I'm like yeah. What was that? Is that or, a real like quick cuts on? into like very kind of creepy looking? Like Red and Stimpy did that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Where, oh yeah. Where, where you would just see the simple cartoon character. Yeah, detailed, and they were, yeah, and they had like warts and like yeah. eye gunk, and it was a whole Half thing. Band aid falling off. Yeah, yeah. And oh, like bags and, under the eyes. And yeah. another, like another moment that just came out of nowhere. Like yeah, like Flapjack's talking to this person. Hey, hey, hey you need to act your age. And you're like, you need to grow up. It's like grow up. I'm 46 years old. Yeah. And then you yeah. see close up his face. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Like, yeah. Whoa, whoa, what? Oh. And there's also the episode where it turns out Bubby acts Bubby the whale that Flapjack lives in accidentally yeah. ate someone and yeah. she's <laughs> yeah, been yeah. using her intestines to like cook pies for like the past twenty years. <laughs> I'm like, what? It's, it's a bizarre show, but it was what? good. It was good. <laughs> yeah. I'm, okay. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, this, right. is that this, show still on? No, no, no. no. It had one of the most bizarre endings ever. Like basically Flapjack and Knuckles, they were just they were just drinking sure. this this drink that was like made out of pure candy. It was meant it's a, it's supposed to be one per human being per lifespan. I, was gonna say, I don't know if I remember that one. And they've been and they've been going there with disguises, drinking a crap ton of that stuff. They turned into humans, like real humans. Just and, people. And so did Bubby the whale, but she turned into like a person with. No, she turned into a whale with like a human face in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. That does sound bizarre. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll take your word for it that right. it's good. It's just like I, I don't want to watch the show again. <laughs> oh my god. All okay, right. Your last one. All right. My number four is actually something. You're number I, three, isn't it? Uh, three. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. You start. Yeah. Um, it's actually when I was an adult, <laughs> but it was a kids' show, 
And uh, I want to say it was the early 2000s. Now, this show is incredibly wholesome. Like, it had nothing but good intentions. It had good message. Um, um, the star of the show, the bad guy of the show sort of had a cult following. He actually passed away fairly recently. <gasps> You know what I'm talking about. Um, Lazy Town. It's called Lazy Town. Uh, okay. I, and I like the show. One. Yeah. I like the show because me and my daughter would watch it, but like the puppets. Yeah. Because the puppets were like, yeah, they were like rubber. They were rubber. They weren't like Muppets. Were, they were like rubber. But their it, necks were like. It always looks so like, bizarre. Their necks looked like elongated sometimes. So and, like, and my daughter agreed. She was like, yeah, those are creepy. <laughs> like, those are just weird looking. I. Yeah. Uh, but it was, was a god. Good, but it, yeah, Rob, yeah, Robbie Rotten, the guy who played, yeah, he was so good. Um, I remember. I've only kn- I've only known that show through memes. Yeah. So I, I haven't. I can't say I have any firsthand experience. Robbie Rotten looked like a looked like Morrissey and Jim Carrey. Honestly, had a, had a baby. yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, had a baby. Yeah. Honestly, Rob Rotten to me, he was scarier than a puppet just because of his smile. Oh his yeah. Chin. He, I'm like, the way oh, he, God, it just looks unsettling. Yeah, the way he moved and emoted, he was great. He was yeah. freaking fantastic, you know. Um, but yeah, that those puppets were just creepy. They they were just weird, and my daughter even thought they were weird. But the show was so wholesome. It's like it's a great show. <laughs> it's like a good show, but those puppets were weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I yeah. It, right. I I don't know too much about it to be able to comment. But they did look. I remember the guy had like the the fake like the prosthetic yeah, chin, right? right? Yeah. 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 Looks so like he looked like War. Face. He looked like Waluigi. He do- yeah, actually, yeah, he does look like yeah. Waluigi. Yeah. Now that you say that, I wonder if Waluigi was based off of him. No, I'm pretty sure pre- Waluigi predates him because I was really? playing. I was playing Mario Kart when I was like four. So, uh, yeah. well, still, Lazy Town was out in like early R- 2000s. Really? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I, I wouldn't remember. It was. Okay. It was made in Iceland too, but it was made for an American market, an English-speaking market. Yeah. That's weird. Did it, oh, you know what? I've seen clips of it. Did they? Are they from Iceland? The actors, because it looks yeah. like it's a lot yeah, of it. Yeah. Looks like it's D. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, 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 um, yeah, it was all I said. What, what am I looking? What word am I looking for? It's been like vo- voiced over. Yeah. Uh, uh, some of it, yeah. What was the term for it? Um, Dubbed? No. ADR? Uh, yeah, ADR. ADR, yeah. ADR, that's what it is. Yeah, it looks like it's been ADR. All right. All right. Um, well, that's what we got. But if do you have any more oh, honorable mentions one, you want to throw out there? I have an honorable yeah, mention. Yeah, sure, yeah, well, one brief last one for me. Yeah. My very first video game, Jump Scare. <laughs> well, jump scare that legitimately freaked me out and maybe like like hide behind the, the chair I was in. Uh-huh. I was 11, okay. And at this point, the only scary games I played were like House of the Dead and Resident Evil, and those games didn't even scare me because the the scare from those games, came, well, the scare from Resident Evil came from the tension of right, the yeah. supplies and like you know being yeah. limited on yeah. ammo and mm-hmm. health the items. Survival part, yeah, yeah. Run, running that's into what stuff. Made, yeah. That's what made it scary. Running and up. here's uh, it's a game that I did not expect a jump scare for. I actually raised my voice and screamed a bit, and uh, I ah! threw my controller and hid behind the chair. Mortal Kombat 2011. I was 11. <laughs> I was playing this game. Yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, this game's so awesome. And, okay, you unlock stuff in the game by <laughs> going to the crypt. It's like, okay, yeah, you get to see guys get their heads cut off or get, you know, guys get torn apart in medieval right. torture devices while unlocking concept art or fatalities. That's cool. All of a sudden, some jump scare monster comes into screen. I'm like, Really? And, and the sound is like maxed out. I'm like, whoa, what? Yeah, the you're like, ah! what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I remember being intimidated by Goro when I played Mortal Kombat. Goro. Like, as soon as Goro came on, like, he just looked so. Because if you remember, yeah, cool. they were all like photorealistic. Yeah, yeah. And he was and like sprites. A, he was like a clay. He was clay. Yeah. He was like clay. Yeah. yeah. So he looked creepy. Uh, claymation, yeah. I think, is such an awesome medium. Yeah. Because yeah. the things move really creepily. Right. So watching him, like, he didn't scare Rawr. me to the point where I stopped playing, but like. He would beat me quite a bit because I was like too scared to do anything. To so, yeah. um, I guess my only honorable mention kind of goes beyond the parameters of what we were talking about, but it's uh, from the Brendan Fraser version of the Mummy, and it's any time any of the Scarab Beetles uh, oh, yeah. would kill someone. Yeah, yeah. Like the whole, un- they would just crawl under your, they would like crawl, crawl into you under your skin. skin. Yeah, like, oh cool. my god, it was CGI cool, but man, effect, it was yeah. kind of creepy to watch. Yeah. At the time, it was the best, though. Yeah. 99, I was like, oh, my gosh. It's like there's really... Yeah. Now you're watching. Like, the first one's not bad. The second one just gets a little over the top. Oh. Anyway, that's my honorable mention. That's all, all I got. Right. Um, you know, <laughs> the Hamburglar. 
the classic original oh, McDonald's mascot oh, hamburger. I mean, even original this, Ronald was, McDonald was scary looking. Yeah, true. Yes, because true. Ronald McDonald. But as a kid, the, the hamburger creeped me out. Just something about that face. And that leads into another story. When I I lived in Germany for three years, and the first time we went, a friend and I went to a McDonald's in Heidelberg. We I think we because it was like a multi story McDonald's. Oh wow! Um, we actually went up to like the top floor or whatever, and um, there was like the kids section, and they had a giant mural on the wall of all the con- uh, of all the McDonald's characters. And there was something about the style it was painted in. It was very grim. <laughs> it was, yeah. And we, and me, and we were both like, whoa. Like, whoa. Is it like this one? Is it this? Uh, no, it that? wasn't. That wasn't that one. At least. Oh, Maybe okay. it was that one. That's not the one I remember in my mind's eye, though. But that may have been an earlier one. I remember there was a, a campaign yeah. somewhere early 2000s where they tried to make the Hamburglar sexy. <laughs> Sexy what Hamburglar. What? Yeah, this is what he looked like. He was in a couple of commercials. Oh, God, sexy Hamburglar. Um, but yeah, even like old Ronald McDonald was kind of creepy looking. So. Oh, yeah. Especially the original one. All right. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so uh, let us know uh, what scares you guys. Yeah, from, yeah. Uh, what things is a child or creeped you out as a child that weren't necessarily <laughs> meant, intended to creep yeah, you out? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let us know in the comments below, or right. if you have any comments to say about what we, uh, any of the ones that we mentioned, please go ahead and do that as well. And if you, yeah, you watched last week's clip at the end, <laughs> tell us what, you, tell us what movie it's from. What movie? Yeah. Is that, it from? The last one, I believe, should have been a little harder. Yeah. All right. If I line up my shows correctly with my <laughs> clips, <laughs> last one should have been um, yeah, a little harder. Uh, please like or dislike and subscribe. Yep. Um, you can hit the bell icon so that you know when new videos come up so you can like and dislike them more. Check out Tony's channel. Check out Tony's channel. Tony's channel is awesome. It's really great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, oh, that's it. I guess that's it, right? Wow, yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, so we'll see you guys next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye.